Justin, the UK is a huge market and it's one of the many jurisdictions we look at when we are analyzing and assessing the best Forex brokers in the world. Talk to, um, to me and to our viewers about what we've been looking at in the UK section specific, specifically over the last little while. Okay, so in 2023, we've got an every single published spread of the Forex brokers. And we've also done our own testing. And that's not just testing of, are they real spreads? Are they really the lowest? But also how fast are these brokers? What's their slippage? Okay, interesting. Can't wait to get into it. I'm Noam Corbel. And I'm Justin Grossbard. Welcome to Compare Forex Brokers. <laughs> All right, Justin, let's jump into it. The UK, we, we've got like a top 10 UK Forex broker list um, that we promote and we share and people engage with and ask us questions about. Who have we recommended as the best broker in the UK in 2023? Okay, Pepperstone, clear winner. Let's go into the reasons. First of all, we did execution speed testing. So execution speed, which is how fast the trades are made within the trading platform. Our own testing, when we opened 20 different of the top brokers, open MT4 accounts, ran them over two periods, Pepperstone was one of the fastest brokers, period. Then we looked at the spreads. So especially the raw account, and we found that Pepperstone had one of the lowest of all the FCA regulated brokers. So we got the lowest spreads, one of the fastest execution speeds, and then you look at the trading platforms. They've got everyone. They've got the MT4, MT5, C Trader, TradingView. So whatever your, you know, your preference is, they've got it, and then they've got a award winning customer service. They've really got all bases covered. They've got all bases covered. You know, they're, they're, they're locally based um, within the UK, I've been around for several years, global player, um, clear winner. Okay. Um, so that's number one. Who have we recommended at number two in our list of best brokers in the UK? Okay, so FXCM is one. So it's an interesting one. We, we rated them second just because they offer the most, uh, the best range of tradable instruments. So when it comes to Forex markets, when it comes to CFDs, that's say shares, yeah, commodities, etc. Commodities is a really big one, I've noticed with it. Exactly. So we know because of the feedback that we've received that a, quite, there's a niche of UK traders that really want to do a lot of a lot of instruments. Now that said, of course, you can't trade things like Bitcoin because of the FCA. So we've got but just be careful. They're not that competitive on the spreads. So you are going to be paying a higher amount to trade these exotic players. But if you're looking for breadth of instruments, they're the clear winners. Okay, interesting. Uh, so that's number two, FXEM, clear winner. Third, who would you recommend at number three to traders in the UK? So plus 500 for beginner traders. So once again, a different niche. Um, if you know, Plus 500 has their own trading platform. It's all been designed for real beginners, easy to use, understand, good customer service. Okay, we're putting it, so if you're a beginner, if you're trading low volume, maybe wear the fees because it's easy to use and you're going to get good customer service. If you get better, if you start trading more, definitely leave them, go to someone like Pepperstone, you know, because one of the biggest factors when it comes to profit and loss is the brokerage. Correct. So if you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're having to pay a big chunk of your profits out in brokerage fees, then what's the point? Exactly. So look, Ross Collins and I, we opened both, you know, we opened Plus 500. It was the easiest to open. It was the easiest to use of all the platforms. You know, that's what it's been designed for. It's really good on the mobile, the actual app. Yeah, it is good on mobile. I've, I've, I've had to play around with it as well. Um, obviously not to the extent that you and Ross have, yeah. but it's easy to use. It's basically like point and shoot, basically. Yeah, and if you're a share trader, it has similar logic to it. So plus 500 based on usability, um, based on the ease to execute trades, um, but negative points when it comes to fees. Yes, okay. Um, do we have like a special mention for UK in, in 2023? Um, I know that we've spoken about companies like eToro in the past, we've spoken about companies like City Index in the past, Oanda, um, and even ACAP. Um, who would you say is like the, the winner that kind of like rounds out our top three with the, with the honorable mention? 
Uh, I'd say, let, let's say um, ACAP. So look, ACAP is not FCA regulated. Their FCA application is pending. Yeah, um, I was going to say yet. Yes, yes we, we've exactly. Heard, we've heard that like on the grapevine that they do have something coming in the UK. We're just not sure when it's going to happen. I'm not sure they even know when it's going to happen. Exactly, but you know, this is an Australian based broker with a global presence and their spreads, you know, we said that we did a spread comparison. You can see it on our website. It's one of the lowest. So look, you know, you, you have to, we're, we're disclaiming right now, they are not FCA regulated, they're ASIC regulated in Australia. But if you're really looking for that lowest fee option, uh, ACAP will be, your, will be your target. Okay, interesting. All right, so the special mention again, just to summarize, is ACAP uh, in UK for 2023. Uh, the third placed broker was Plus 500, mainly for beginners yep. because of their easy to use trading platform. But just a, a note on the fees, they are expensive. So if you're gonna be, uh, if you are gonna be trading at high volume, it's probably like not the best yeah, option for you. They've got a withdrawal fee, you know. I don't like the idea of taking out money and having to pay for that privilege. Correct. Then uh, second was FXCM. They've got an incredible range of markets. I mean, if you're looking to trade anything from commodities to indices to ETFs to Forex. The exotics. The exotics, exactly. They've got them all covered. Yep. Um, and a lot of the questions we get from traders are around, oh, can I trade, you know, this exotic? Can I trade this currency pair? Can I trade yep. this commodity? And the answer to a lot of those questions is yes with FXCM. So that's why they're at number two in the UK. And number one in the UK, um, they have been for a while, uh, are Pepperstone. And that's because of just their, they're just a well-rounded Forex broker. They've just got all the features that, you know, most people are after with a broker. They've got the trading platforms, so they've got the MT4, they've got MT5, they've got TradingView, they've got CTrader. They've got all those trading platforms. Um, their fees are low, the execution speeds are good. There really wasn't a lot that we found wrong with Pepperstone, which is why you've given them the ranking of number one in the UK in 2023. So look at our, our methodology section. We've actually got documentation of the tests that Ross Collins and us have done in the past. So uh, using things like EAs on MT4, so we yep. can get a, you know, we're publishing what the brokers tell us, yep. but we've got our own testing and that's really comes down to you. So if you look at our area and you've got other ideas. So we're look, we've looked at slippage, uh, we've looked at um, standard and ECN uh, type spreads um, and execution speeds. If you've got other ideas, leave in the comments. You know, we're looking to test these brokers inside out. If you've got more ideas of what we can do, let us know. Also, just a quick note, we've been working on this AI chatbot that will hopefully help people select the right broker for them a lot faster than they have in the past. Yep. That's coming online soon. Uh, we're gonna have to keep you in suspense there. Um, but if there are any other, as Justin said, if there's anything else you'd like us to do testing on, if there's anything else that you would like us to kind of assist you with uh, in your research when it comes to selecting a Forex broker, leave a comment in the comment section below and please don't hesitate to like and subscribe and share our videos. Thanks for watching guys. Thank you.